Hey, what's up? Lightball Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2021 Lifetime original film, Ghosts of Christmas Past. So this is... It, it's a perfectly constructed Christmas film, right? You have your intro to the plot points. You have your s slight dramatic elements throughout. And then you have your big, you know, kiss under the Christmas tree at the end for the big reveal. Very cute. Very well done. Very, very well crafted. I wasn't bored at all. That was a good sign. I also loved how this had to do about ghosting. Not actual ghosts, but ghosting someone within social media. You just ignore them and you have nothing to do with them anymore. Whether they're blocked or you just don't respond or ghosting, right? The term ghost, ghosting. So this was about ghosting. So the ghosts of Christmas past. So it's it's very neat having this plot point bring about. So there's this workaholic girl. Ellie, she is, uh, she works for a video game company and she's currently designing a game. Uh, one of her co-workers, one of the tech guys, um, is helping her finish some tweaks here and there and all these different things. But uh, he doesn't want to move forward in his career. She wants to just focus on the career things, right? So there's an office Christmas party. There's a fortune teller who uses a snow globe as a magic ball, crystal ball, crystal ball. And it, she says, oh, if you don't make amends with your ghosts, you're going to, by midnight on Christmas uh, Eve, you're going to you know, never find true love. So it's now the quests of making amends. So it's kind of very much like what's your number with uh, with um, the character of Allie Darling going through her different contacts, trying to make amends with uh, her past uh, lovers to see if anybody has changed to be her potential true love before she meets, uh, gets to number 21. That whole uh, Chris Evans and um, uh, Anna Faris film, hysterical. Kind of like that, where different but kind of like that where uh this character Veli has to make amends with the ghosts with her ghosts the people that she ghosted uh asking for not forgiveness but just apologizing it wasn't you it was me i was selfish blah 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 right so there's this one character um that she's trying to make amends with who she would message all the time blinky for life and she can't seem to get in contact with him or he doesn't want to you know accept the apology, things of that nature, right? But it turns out that her co-worker, Charlie, is actually blinking for life, and then they meet under the tree at the end and then, you know, confess and, and things and share the kiss, and then he comes home for Christmas and they watch Christmas Carol. Hysterical. Beautiful. It's neat having the brother and the sister-in-law play into it, the mom playing into it as well. Super well done. Super fast. Super kitschy, right? Nice little cute meet cutes here and there it was it's just it's a well-crafted christmas film as all christmas films should be on to the next review <laughs> mahalo